what is up everybody um, I'm gonna make a informational video today on cycling your aquarium and you may think that it's just a simple process but I've uh, I've been seeing people lately on the chat and they just they didn't cycle and they've lost some good fish that are expensive and they've been short out some money um, so if anybody like needs help this is a good video uh, to help you guys out um, so basically um, you have your you have three components um, I'm gonna talk about nitrogen cycle and cycling so I'll do nitrogen cycle first you have three components um, ammonia nitrite and nitrate all of which are harmful to fish but ammonia and nitrite are the worst um, and so basically what happens is you feed the fish the fish um, and waste and stuff is in the um, the sand or whatever and that leaches ammonia so fish waste and excess food that makes ammonia and ammonia is bad for your fish and if you could see by this chart ammonia you want zero if you have zero your, your tank is cycled and you're good to go um, so then after ammonia you get um, nitrite and there's bacteria that your bacteria in your filter break down the ammonia into nitrite and that is still harmful to the fish and um, so you want to watch out for that too again nitrite should be zero along with ammonia um, and then there's um, bacteria that break down the nitrite into the final component which is nitrate Nitrate is not as not very harmful to your fish, but in a lot excess amounts, it is harmful and can kill them. Um, but the cool part about nitrate is, is it can be removed with a simple water change. Um, I do about 25% two times a week on this tank. Sorry, I'm out of focus. Um, and that seems to be doing a great job. The rule of the thumb is probably I'd say 25% a week or 50% a week, depending on your fish, obviously. Um, that uh, so like I said, rule of thumb, not so specific. Um, here's a chart that shows the cycle pretty much. So your ammonia comes up from the soil, and then um, the bacteria transfers to nitrites, and then eventually nitrate at the end, which can be removed by a simple water change. Um, and that's basically what is that. That's how the cycle works in a nutshell um, now the other part of this video I wanted to talk about was um, cycling your aquarium so what that is is um, getting a good colony of bacteria in your filter that breaks down the ammonia into nitrite and breaks down nitrite into nitrate so um, how to get that started is on a brand new tank you don't have any other um, used media to use, you have nothing, you have a new filter. So you put that in the tank, and there's pretty much two options. You could take um, cycled media, or I mean, sorry, not that. Um, you could take, uh, what was I going to say, um, like fish, like cheap fish, and cycle using fish. Or they have some product that you can um, use that is supposed to be like ammonia and stuff. I honestly don't know if that works or not. I've I think I've been hearing that it's off and on sometimes so I normally stick to the fish method um, and you could use basically just hardy fish like um, uh, zebra danios stuff like that um, that just do the job that and so what happens is they um, produce ammonia and they're pretty hardy so they don't normally die um, from the ammonia poisoning and then eventually they'll, uh, about, hold on, let me see, I'll show you a, alright, here's a picture of it. So, you start out with your ammonia, and eventually, it's a, generally after 10 days, it'll spike. And you can check all this with the API Master Test Kit, which is essential to the fish, ca fish tank keeping hobby. Um, so it'll spike at like 10 days, and then, um, and then it'll just drop a little but then you'll see your uh, nitrite start to build up too and that'll once again spike 
and then once it hits here, you're pretty, you're in good shape, and your nitrates will start building up, and then a water change will bring them down, and you're good to go. And then these should be staying at zero at all times, and that's how you know your tank is still cycled. If you add new fish to your aquarium or overfeed, you generally have a little spike in ammonia and eventually nitrate or nitrite. But um, yeah, so that's kind of how it works. And uh, what else can I say? So cycling, you want to. It generally takes about. It took in the 36 gallon. Um, it took about three weeks. I'd say, and I didn't have a test kit, but I eventually got one at the end, and that's how I could tell that it was uh, cycled, and um, what I do now, like in this tank, I'll take used filter media, and because um, I have that same exact filter on um, as additional, it's in addition to the 36 gallon, so I just switch pads, and um, no, I don't lose any bacteria or anything, and I get it in this tank and I instant cycle that way so if you have used media go ahead and use that and uh, I hope I helped if anyone's um, needing any information on cycling and it, it does take a while I, I gotta be honest with you there um, and it's it gets frustrating because you'll just be waiting and waiting for it to hit um, for your ammonia to hit zero nitrite to hit zero and you'll start getting those nitrates and you'll get really excited because you know soon you could uh, add fish and then um, that's basically it so well, I explain nitrous and cycle how to cycle and cycling just it, the, the key to cycling is time to be honest you just gotta be able to wait and I mean you could do things to speed it up like adding that ammonia stuff um, but honestly time is what's gonna get it to cycle so there's a video on cycling um, I hope it helps get this if you don't have it um, you're gonna need it eventually um, so that's it later guys